Okay, uh, welcome to today's video where we are going to solder with um, petroleum jelly or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it. Vaseline's a brand name. This is not actually the brand. Uh, but yeah, petroleum jelly. We're going to solder with it. Uh, it's just for fun. Don't do this. Don't, don't do this at home, guys. Use, uh, use real flux. Buy real flux. It's cheap enough. Just use the real thing. Don't. Don't mess with, don't mess with petroleum jelly, but we're gonna do it for fun. Uh, there's a reason for this. Everybody makes fun of uh, the Amtec knockoff flux and says, "Oh, you're just buying Chinese petroleum jelly or Chinese Vaseline." Um, so I figured, you know what? Let's let's try that out. Let's test it out. Let's see what happens if we use uh, Vaseline as flux and. Because it's not going to take very long to test Vaseline, we have a couple of other things to test. And we're just going to find out, will it flux? We have um, some hippie version of um, Vicks Vapor Rub. I was hoping to just use Vicks Vapor Rub because it's pretty much the same thing. It's petroleum jelly. Um, but yeah, this one's like coconut oil based. So we will uh, see, which was good because I was hoping to try some coconut oil, but we're out of it. Because uh, it's just like... Let's try some things that look like flux that definitely aren't flux. Um, some of my kids' hair gel, um, it looks like flux. It's the right color and consistency. So we'll try some of it. Uh, and we'll uh, melt some candle wax. Candle wax kind of looks like flux too. So we'll try, we'll try all these things that look like flux but definitely are not flux and see, will it flux? So, uh, let's just get right into Jesus. it. Let's, uh, lead-free crap that I have laying around. Um, I'm assuming this really cheap lead-free solder has less flux in it than, like, my real solder that I have. Like, the Chip Quick brand stuff. Like, it, it has flux in it. Um, I was gonna use this at first, but I could, this one actually has a ton of flux inside it, so, it, this was just some random stuff that came, came in a box, uh, of components I ordered one time, I bought it off of eBay, and the guy threw some apparently decent solder in there, so I have these two lead-free ones, this one's labeled as having a rosin core, I don't see any signs of it having any rosin in it, um, and this is Mutter brand. It's an okay, like, Amazon kind of brand of, uh, solder. So this probably actually has some, uh, uh, flux in it too. So unfortunately, I don't have anything that I know for a fact has no flux in it. Um, which is a shame. Uh, cause it just make this better. So I actually got the idea from somebody else's video where they were soldering with, petroleum jelly uh but they were they were actually using like kester uh rosin cord uh, uh stuff so there was a ton of flux on the board i mean like i'll show you in just a second this stuff just seeps uh um flux out of it so i mean it's, it's good stuff it works good so any of these are gonna work with that so i can't use that in the video we gotta we gotta use this crap so first we're just gonna try some of this without anything and uh see which one weeps the least amount of flux out of it uh and we'll go with the crappiest one uh and of course i'm not gonna use my jbc station for this those tips are way too expensive to ruin on some um hair gel <laughs> so yeah let's uh let's get right to this so for our victims here that are going to get soldered on are some of these cheap uh, incandescent bulbs that I got from somebody and I don't like them. So uh, not the person, but the bulbs. I don't like the bulbs. So yeah, let's uh, get this. We're going to use the T12 soldering station with a uh, J2 tip on it. So we're going with the J2 uh, and we'll start with the mutter uh, stuff first. Because it's not even labeled as having any um, stuff. So we're at 100, uh, sorry, 360 Celsius. Should be plenty hot enough for this uh, uh, lead-free stuff. So, ow, uh, that popped on me. There's definitely, there's a lot of flux in that. You can see it weeping out of there. And it, it popped some of it on my hand. So, okay, let's try the other stuff here. Let's see. All right, so they're both weeping a lot of 
um, flux out of it. And we'll try this other one right here. We already, I can see that it has a bunch. Yeah, and you can see it all weeping out of it too. Okay, so all of these have plenty of rosin. I know this chip quick doesn't have a lot. It, it's a super thin one. So uh, as we can tell from how shiny that one is, this is a lead, this is a lead, for, uh, sorry, a leaded solder. I wasn't sure. I, I just didn't know what it came from. Um, so let's see. Oh, we're still getting... Yeah, they, they all have a good amount of flux. Uh, the chip quick is definitely the best looking. So as we can see, we can make a perfectly fine solder joint from all of these already. So we know it's going to work. Spoiler. Let's uh, get... Alright, so petroleum jelly doesn't really flow very well, so let's use some tweezers. And uh, we're just going to put that on there. There's good old bit. So, uh, since we've already determined that all of our solder has uh, flux in it, we're not going to use any solder. We're just going to use what's left on the PCB. There should be, there should be enough to reflow it. Uh, it we're going to try with uh, all of our different things first, and then we'll try with actual flux, because this, this shouldn't give us any problems here. All right. So, were we able to solder it on there with that? Yes. Yes, we were. Does it look any different than no flux? Let's try no flux now. There's no, no nothing. It may actually look worse. Um, yeah. We'll look at them under the microscope here in a second. So, that's petroleum jelly. That is uh, just the leftover solder that's on the board and nothing else. Let's try, um, let, let's just put one on there with the flux cord solder that we already would be using. This, this one so far looks the best. Um, although we definitely have a cold solder joint here on that mutter um, flux, uh, I mean not uh, solder. So, yeah. I'm not convinced that this is actually lead-free. No, it's not. It's, it's leaded solder. Okay. <laughs> Why does it have a green tip? Why is this a green tip? Like, I was like, that's too shiny to be lead-free. And, yeah, it's, it's not lead-free. This is, <laughs> this is 6337. <laughs> Why did they put a green tip on it? It makes it look like it's lead-free solder. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. That looks like crappy leaded solder then. Yeah, it, <laughs> okay. Um, wow. Yeah. You can't you can't put green green is a no go on leaded stuff. That that leads to people using the wrong thing. Yeah, it's a no go. You can't do that. Alright. So does uh, petroleum jelly work as flux? Uh, I would say absolutely not. This honestly work, looks worse than nothing at all, than just not using anything at all. All right, let's um, continue with our test. Let's try the uh, the the off the hippie uh, chest rub here. That's supposed to be like Vicks vapor rub. Uh, yeah, this is another one of those. Uh, it's a paste, so it's not going to flow. Let's see what happens here. Let's just uh, put a big old glob of that on there. I have a feeling there's probably some citric acid in here. I, I, I'm assuming. I haven't read the ingredients. Oh, let me read the ingredients. They're right here. It's nice and simple. No, we do not have any uh, citric acid. We have vitamin E in there. So maybe the vitamin E will do something for us. But, um, yeah. No uh, citric acid. I was hoping there was citric acid because it would probably work as a uh, flux with it. So let's just reflow what's on there for just a second. Okay, that has a very strong aroma of lavender uh, doing that. So it smells good. It smells good. And then it smells not so good. It smells like burnt oil. 
I wonder why it smells like burnt oil. Let's get the fume extractor in there better. Okay. So, does this work as flux? Again, I would say absolutely not. That, that uh, did not flow um, as good as this, which had nothing. This, this, again, was just the leftover solder from the factory with zero uh, flux given here. There, there was, there's nothing left on there. So let's uh, see here. We're running out of spots because I did that. I, I wasn't planning on doing that test. So let's, uh, let's come up here. We'll, we'll go with that one. Uh, although that one looks like it's been reflowed before. Let's come over here. This one does not look like it's been reflowed. So that one should work for us. Let's try with hair gel. This stuff looks kind of like... Oh, God, we got way too much of it. Let's uh, take some of that off. This stuff kind of looks like Chip Quick. Chip Quick's kind of got that color. It's that clear-looking stuff. All right. Ooh, this stuff, this stuff actually works. There we go. That, that looks better than, than that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, oh, we're out of bulbs. Let's trim another bulb. I, we'll just take, we'll just take this one off. We'll take the cheat off. We, we already know the cheat works. We already know what that does. All right. Okay, does hair gel work? Yes, it does. Hair gel makes better flux than petroleum. All right, let's clean this thing up. Let's clean it up. Let's zoom out. Let's clean it up. And we'll take a look at, uh, at it. We're going we're gonna to put some uh, just regular flux here. This is my usual, uh, my most recent usual is the MG Chemicals flux. It's really cheap and um, it seems to work pretty good. And we're just gonna use some good solder also and clean off my tip here so I don't ruin it. Okay, and we'll clean up all of this and take a look at it under the microscope and just see, see what our results were. But since this actually worked, I'm gonna give this one one more little, oh crap, this comes out, there's so much of it. problem you have is there's just so much of it. All right. All right. Now let's clean it up. Let's clean it up. I want to I want to compare these two under the microscope. Oh, I didn't use real uh, I got to I got to give it a fair comparison, right? Okay. That should give it a fair comparison there because it's it's got the same solder too. All right. Let's clean this thing up. I don't know what will work best for cleaning this. Let's just try flux remover. <laughs> this stuff is definitely not no clean. Y'all are gonna clean up after this. Then again, no clean is not no clean. You, you still need to clean up after it. Yeah, those look like perfectly good solder joints there. <laughs> so we... We figured out what they're using. They're, they're using hair gel in China to make your knockoff uh, flux. It's not petroleum jelly. Petroleum jelly made no difference. Absolutely no difference. I mean, I, I think it made it worse, to be honest. Okay. We're cleaning it up so that way we can take a look at it under the microscope. Okay, so uh, first we're going to look at right here is the... This is the control. This is with the MG Chemicals... Um, flux and the uh, Kester uh, solder. This is um, a it, it's a 60-40 blend. Uh, that's our control and it is nice and shiny and exactly how you'd expect it to look. Here is um, the same solder but with um, the hair gel. So uh, that, that little bit hanging off there is just part of the leg of a uh, 
with one on there. So it looks exactly the same, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, that's that's a, a perfectly good solder joint. I wouldn't complain about that at all. Let's take a look at the petroleum jelly one. We'll, we'll uh, look and see how that one came out. So this one is petroleum jelly. So let me just kind of move the bulb around a little bit so that way we can see our joints there. So, okay, you can see here it, it's just barely connected here. It, it is actually kind of like mounted over and has two different kind of going on there. So not a, not a very good solder joint there. And um, on this side, you can tell it's pretty cold. It, 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 you can see, is it cut? Yeah, you can see it's got like little lines in it too. So this is a, a really cold and crappy solder joint, which this is with just petroleum jelly. And we're not adding any of our solders that we have because they all had flux in them. So it really kind of defeats the purpose of this test because the, any of them would work. Okay, here is our next one, which was with absolutely nothing added. So no solder, at, or no, we didn't add any fresh solder. We didn't add any flux or anything. And it came out better than our, um, our petroleum jelly. Here we have the uh, coconut oil, the, the, the hippie Vicks Vapor Rub, um, the, the knockoff Vapor Rub, I guess you call it, I don't know. Uh, it did not want to clean off at all. Like, like this stuff does not want to come off. It, it, it'll manually come off, but it did not want to just wipe off with the uh, uh, stuff here. So, and it looks like it's as crappy of a solder joint under there as we got with the um, petroleum jelly. It's really it's really just not a good solder joint at all. Uh, and then here's our final one. Again, this is with nothing added, but just um, the hair gel. So this one, this one's hair gel with the original solder that was already on the board and whatever was on my soldering iron. So no flux added here, just uh, just solder that was on the, the board and iron. So I would say that hair gel, the, the, the fructose style, pure, clean styling gel does in fact work as flux. Um, I don't recommend it, just buy some real flux. Okay, guys, tell me what you think about the video. Comment, comment down below. Let me know what you think. We had a clear winner here. But you guys can decide. Decide for yourselves. You, you look at the footage and you tell me which one you think wins. But, uh, yeah, this definitely, in my book, is a winner. Um, not quite as much of a winner as uh, this guy because we know this isn't going to eat the circuit board. Uh, we know that it's flux. And, uh, yeah. This this is this is what you need. Um, it doesn't have to be this brand. Um, you can get Chip Quick. You can get MG Chemicals. You can get um, Amtech. Any of those. I would not recommend getting Amtech off of Amazon or eBay because you're just gonna get Amtech that is cut with petroleum jelly. That's what everyone says. I don't know. It, there's knockoff Amtech out there. It's really obvious when it's knockoff. The the labels don't look right. They generally have typos in the label. Uh, but yeah. There's always knockoff Amtech. It, it, I'm sure some of the knockoff Amtech isn't really knockoff Amtech. It's expired Amtech, and they just print a new label that has a non-expired date on there. But yeah, I get MG Chemicals, and I order it from uh, Mauser every time I make an order with Mauser. So every, every time I need something new from them, I just order another tube of it. I don't like to order a ton of it at one time because Flux does have like a six-month uh, shelf life. So you really don't want to have a ton of it on hand because then it'll just expire before you use it all. Uh, I also like Chip Quick, and I will buy it from Mauser also. Uh, not pushing Mauser. They're not sponsoring this anyway. Uh, I just, I, that's normally who I order stuff from. Um, I do order a little bit from DigiKey. I actually just made an order with DigiKey a couple days ago. Uh, and I think I ordered some weird flux I'd never heard of from them 
two. I don't remember. I think I did. I may not have. Um, but yeah, hey, let me know if you liked the video. Let me know if you would like to find out if other things would flux. And yes, I did forget to melt the candle and use the candle. I totally forgot. Uh, but we really were running out of uh, the same style solder pad to test it on over and over again. So, you know, we, we, we used up all of our different light pads, uh, except for one. There's There was one left there. So um, my thoughts on this is I believe that somebody at some point in time before I had it had put replaced a couple of the bulbs. That's why I skipped um, that one altogether, is that one clearly had more solder on it than they come with it from the factory. So uh, I did skip that that pad but um because normally normally there's just barely enough solder on there to to try to flow something on there without adding it um but if you don't think this was a fair test if you if you think this test sucked and i should have done something else that i should have used uh the solder on all of them uh just comment down below i can i can do another will it flux video <laughs> mail me mysterious fluids to test <laughs> no we're not no so yeah, let let me know if you liked the video. If you have any ideas of uh, things that would not be dangerous to test, you know I'm not gonna put gasoline on there or lighter fluid or mix bleach and rubbing alcohol. You know I'm not I'm not gonna do anything like that. But if you if you have some reasonable ideas, you know put some mustard on there and see will it flux? Well, we can find out. We can find out if mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup flux. I imagine they all do because they all have some acid in it. Um, because most of acid's gonna help because it's gonna break down that corrosion on there and, and make it work. Uh, obviously, you don't want an acid based flux on your circuit board because it'll slowly eat away at the circuit board. Um, but other than that, I, you know, I'm not a chemist, I'm definitely not. Oh, there's Vaseline on the board still. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, Vaseline sucks. It leaves it all greasy feeling because it's a grease. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The hair gel worked. It, it worked really well. Um, <laughs> that's funny to me. The hair, that's funny that that, that worked. Um, so yeah, hey, I hope you guys liked the video and uh, I'll uh, see you in the next one.